about like religion um it the question is do we need religion if we do why if we don't why so i guess a lot of people need religion for rules and for orientation okay and it's um it's something like the, the glue for society yes and it's spiritual spiritual yes you yes need, some people need that and um let me say we need spiritual and it's it's one way one way is religion there are different ways um it's a common way religion but there are other ways being spiritual so um but it's it's not a bad way being religious if you if you do it right you know well okay you're absolutely right yeah I, i and i agree with both of you but let's go one level beyond that what is beyond religion who is beyond religion who who are the original teachers who told humanity you need religion and why this is a test number one let's see <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go very very far back and we are europeans and i would say it is a philosophical answer i can give you we want to know where we are from and where we go to correct and if because people don't know where we are from and where we go to they were searching for answers and this is the beginning of religion they did not understand nature so in europe we had these gods wotan mm. and so on and yes. we saw the thunder from 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 there and we didn't understand the stars what is, or what is that yeah. so this is the this is the background of not understanding what nature and what we are well okay that is a reasonable philosophical answer yeah, so, so i me, then, no i i appreciate no, i, I think, appreciate that i appreciate yeah. that uh i i'd like to go a level beyond it well, how the christians jews and the muslims believe in religion and in what way and why it's has to do with believing in a creator a creator who created all of us he created us and then he knew our nature as human being you know we are prone to evil and do things it's not that we are we are created and all of a sudden we're like angels he sent prophets from the very beginning the beginning of it was adam adam and eve you know adam we believe it he was the first of the prophets and after that his progeny what we have like in the quran and in the uh, bible and the torah we have Noah, we have Abraham, we have Moses, we have Jesus, we have Mo- uh, Chris, uh, I know, Prophet I know, Muhammad. I know. As you know, all of them came and they preached the same thing, and that was tell people worship only one God. Like you're saying that the people, you know, worshiping this and that, and the moon and the sun and the different things. The prophet's job was to come and tell people worship only one God. So the rituals were different, you know, Jews practice different Christian but the rituals are uh, different than the essence of the religion was to worship only one god so what has happened to us now as humanity we have messed up badly but there are there are some different ide- ideas going around in the neighbor state of here there is the buddhism but the old way of the buddhism the way yes. of the elders yes not the the big the big vehicle yes it's a so called small vehicle and um there are two differences between the bodhisattva and an arhat mm. the way of the elders is the elders go alone in mm. in, Maha, in, in um, uh, theravada buddhism and the mahayana buddhism uh, the uh, the bodhisattva tries to find the light or whatever for everybody and um at first it was a relig- religion without the single creator it was not a religion it was a kind of philosophy and also um the you're talking about buddhism mm-hmm. yes and also the, uh, um, uh, try to find a 
try to find rules or a way to to live in a, I don't I don't know how to explain it. To yes, you. I have studied Buddhism and it has mm. a lot of really wonderful things about Buddhism. Yeah. I studied Hinduism a lot of really I learned a lot of good things about it. Christianity, so yeah. seven and a half years of I was teaching about the Bible actually. Mm. Yeah. So I found a lot of good things, a lot of spiritual things, like you were saying, yeah, and that yeah. was really beneficial to me. But what I found is that in all these religions, they worship other than the creator. The Hindus have maybe hundreds of gods, Sons. you know. They worship it. They think, well, ultimately, they take us to the one God. Well, why don't you go directly to the one God? But they don't have all of this religion that I, I joined. I never... Join unless I wanted to know what is the foundation. You can move a little bit more. You can be in the shade. <laughs> so my, my, my argument is, I want to say this. The time that all these prophets, Abraham and so on, all these men and women got the idea, uh, told the stories, told the rules, science was not able to understand how life is working, how cells are working, how why a tree grows, what a tree needs to grow, how fishes swim, how why people walk. Now how, they know. Now they know exactly. And what they did a couple of years ago, and what they know now is that we can make life with DNA from zero to now. And this is able without God, only in a, you know, in a, in a leper, laboratory. And um, since a couple of years, I think it's uh, seven, eight, nine, ten years. I, I they can even make duplicates, you know. Yes. Of, but they, they so, can they can do that, but they cannot give it a soul. Soul the only soul, the is. Soul, but you know, I, I I can tell you there is one um, experiment of one very old German leader. It's about three hundred years ago. It's Friedrich the, the, the second and uh, the first and what he did is he was taking about 20 babies mm. and he said I don't want it I don't want them to be touched I don't want them to be spoken to it's very cruel yeah huh? yeah yeah and it's, what happened to these babies they died they died and so the soul is not coming from somewhere the soul is coming from the community from mother from father from well, love I... they give and we give we transport that from generation to generation to generation and you know you see when when violence is in a family it's very, very difficult. Okay, now I understand uh, what you're saying because yeah. I have, I've, I've really studied this. Yeah. Uh, the soul, when the soul leaves the body, the person is dead. This is the way we we believe in. Is the <laughs> I know I'm to, an ICU nurse <laughs> and I've seen many people dying, so this is something. For okay, me. so what what we we what we are told because we do believe in a creator. Yeah. We do believe that he is the one that arranged everything. He's the one that put us here yeah, on earth that. but no it's okay i'm 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 not i'm not trying to convince no, you no, no. believe in what i what yeah. i'm just saying because you're here in a muslim country you may as well believe what we but well, not believe what understand believe yeah. we believe that the soul when the uh, the baby is in the womb the soul that's when the soul is put in the mother's womb and the soul basically becomes a baby human yeah. being and this soul we are created out of the soul mind and the body so these babies that died, mm -hmm. they, they died, their, their mind, they needed affection, they have a heart, they have a mind, they have, they feel humanity, they lost that affection, they died. Their soul, I mean, like, like so somebody right there who could jump, jump in the water and drown themselves, they die. That means their soul is taken away from them. We can cause our body to die, therefore the soul leaves our body, but the soul never dies. The soul never dies. It goes, comes from God, it goes back to God. And it, as Muslim, we believe according to what we believe in, how we behave in this life, if we believed in the way that the prophets guided us, the guidance of the prophet commands of, of God, at the end, our soul goes to heaven. We don't believe in reincarnation. If we are evil people, we kill and slaughter people, we die and steal, at the end, this person is going to go to hell. 
it's a heaven or hell there's accountability but there is so much forgiveness unlike christians who believe that jesus died on the cross so that everybody's saved how is everybody saved when the christians are still slaughtering people they're dying they're killing they're doing something he's god never kills a person to save other humanity but he's teaching yes it it really saves people mm. prophet muhammad came to save people from the evil thing moses jesus uh, uh, abraham all of them came to save people from a life of ignorance we follow good we don't follow it's up to us but there is a reckoning if we don't believe in the hereafter if we don't believe uh, that there is a day of judgment then we are not accountable for anything so whatever we're doing here is basically lost even if we do good 